So let's describe the position vector from points A to B. Um, and these points are described by A1, A2, A3, and B1, B2, and B3 in an orthogonal unit basis or right-handed unit basis, uh, X hat, Y hat, and Z hat from the origin O, um, where O is at um, O is at 0, 0, 0. That's the coordinate to O. So the position vector from A to B, and I'm going to go ahead and change my notation. I know in class uh, last Wednesday I said uh, go ahead and denote this position vectors are from A to B um, with the B over, over the A. Um, I think just for clarity I'll go ahead and go uh, the position vector from A to B is R A over B. Similarly you might have done this in your classes before as that's the position vector from A to B. That's uh, fine to use as well. Um, so how do we describe this position vector? So from the origin to A we can make a vector so R O to A and from the origin to B we can make the position vector R O to B and remember with the vector addition if we add them head to tail, if we add the vector O to A head to tail with the vector A to B, position vector A to B, we would get this position vector R O to B. So R O B is equal to R O A plus R A to B. And R O A and R O B, I'm going to go ahead and write those down. Given these coordinates, we can say ROA is A1 X hat plus A2 Y hat plus A3 Z hat. Similarly, RO to B is equal to B1 X hat plus B2 Y hat plus B3 Z hat. Okay, but remember we wanted to describe RA to B. So just rearranging RA to B is equal to R O to B minus R O A. And using these two vectors, we can describe this mathematically as B1 minus A1 X hat plus B2 minus A2 Y hat plus B3 minus A3 Z hat. 